Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. I'm fine. Let's talk about Family History Month. What can we learn from you today? Well, October is Family History Month, and there is never a better time to learn the unique stories of your ancestors. We found at uh, Emory University, they did some research on uh, children who know the stories of their ancestors, and they found that those who were more familiar with their stories of their ancestors had higher self-esteem, they had better scores on their scholastic tests, and they had a better aptitude to deal with adversity in their lives. So, what, give me some steps for people to learn about their family history. So, one of the best ways to get started is to foster some conversations with the people that you know and love. Maybe expand your dinner time conversation to talk about your ancestors. Maybe start a family photo album where you can all talk about the stories and write down names and dates and locations for your ancestors. And always important to get on the phone and talk to your grandparents and find out their stories. And then you can take those stories and translate them to a family tree on ancestry where you start with what you know you add yourself, you add your parents and your grandparents, and then you couple that with an ancestry DNA test that can tell you more about your origins and where your family came from. I want my audience to know that Jennifer Udley is the Director of Research at Ancestry. Okay, so as we start to put this together, how do we get this information to build this family tree? So to get the information to build your family tree, you really just start with what you know. You can go to Ancestry and start a tree with yourself, then add your parents and your grandparents. And as you start adding people to your tree, Ancestry is going to work in the background and it's going to search its 20 billion historical records to find records that talk about your ancestors. So you can look at a census record that gives you information that your third time's great grandfather gave to the census taker at the door. Or you can find a passenger list they can talk about where your people came from and who, they were, who they're coming to live with in America and maybe even how many dollars were in their pocket. You can find obituaries and military records, maybe even a yearbook photo of your ancestors. So those historical records can start the story, but then you can use Ancestry DNA to start filling in some other gaps. Okay, tell me a little about the, the DNA testing. How do you, you get other people interested in, in taking the test? Well, I think that one of the most interesting things about the Ancestry DNA test is that as human beings, we share 99.5% of the same genetic material, but it's that 0.5% that makes you unique. And so by taking the Ancestry DNA test, you can learn more about that 0.5%. You can learn about your ancestors and the lands they came from. You can learn about their migration patterns. And there are more than 15 million people in the Ancestry DNA database. And you can learn which of those people you share some sort of genetic connection with. And you can reach out and get to know them as well. Okay, I'm going to take this Facebook post because we had talked about you yesterday and people listen to us on multiple fat platforms. And one of the questions is, so what happens if people do not want to uh, be unearthed in their DNA relation to the family? Well, Ancestry takes privacy really seriously. So when you take a DNA test, you can find out where your people came from, but you can elect to opt out of the matching service so that people don't, you don't get connected with those people, but you can still find out where your ethnic origins are. So why is this information important for us today in the 21st century? You know, fighting about these stories about your ancestors really brings a crucial context to your life. I think understanding where they came from and how they made those decisions leads to where you are today. So that adds another layer of understanding to your own life. Jennifer, online, how does my uh, listening audience get started or continue their putting together their family tree? You can get started very easily by going to Ancestry.com and starting a family tree. Once again, start with what you know and have those conversations this month during Family History Month to learn more to add to your tree.
You guys remember, Jennifer reminds us that October is Family History Month. Love the people you love and do some research with them. Jennifer Utley, thank you so very much for helping my audience be more connected to family. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder Beebe Show icon, and get started living life divinely. Oh, 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 oh,